Hello everyone, Delaf here. Today we're going to look at connecting in the RR circuits. Uh, what is it called? LCC buffer dash USB. Basically this is the device that interfaces your CAN bus, which is the red cable, into a standard serial bus with a USB connection on the end so that you can connect your LCC bus into your PC. Very easy to do, but there's a few steps to it. Go ahead and start off with opening up your device manager. Device manager lets you manage and look at what all is in your computer in terms of hardware and connections. Right in here you have a spot called ports. If you open that up, you'll see that I have a device already connected, COM6 into COM6 through the USB. If I plug this in right away, you'll, a couple things will happen. You'll hear it beep there. For one thing, it'll identify that the new device, which I just plugged in, the USB buffer, is now on COM7. Make a mental note of that. You'll need that in a bit. The other thing it's doing right now is if you have Windows 10, it's downloading the necessary drivers for that. So there's no necessary, nothing's necessary to do for driver uh, setup on that. Anyway, make a mental note of that. Now you go down to your Panel Pro. Panel Pro will open up with my JMR Railroad. Um, obviously, if you're familiar with JMRI, you can set it up to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as a default. So you open it up. And if you take a look here, uh, you can see that there's a toolbar here, but you don't see LCC anywhere. So if we go under Edit Preferences, and it opens up, and you can see that the other USB device that I have online right now is a Sprog Programmer, but I don't see anything for my LCC connection, right? So to add that in, we go ahead and hit the plus sign. Pull down allows you to select LCC. There you go. Look at that. Another option, by the way, is that you can do Open LCB. They function exactly the same. LCC is Open LCB for all practical purposes. I'm just going to go ahead and use LCC. Leave this for uh, as a default. It can be an LCC buffer USB. It's a system connection. Serial port. Here's where that bit of information that we had before comes in. You can see that we have our choice of COM6 and COM7. And remember, when we plugged it in, it popped up as COM7. The rest of this, um, you just leave as is, and you say save. Now what it'll do is uh, restart Panel Pro. We can minimize this. There's no need for this any longer. J My JMR Railroad, yes. And it opens up and take a look. Now we have that Sprog Programmer and LCC. If I click on that, I can click on Configure Nodes, and voila, I can see my uh, test layout is set up with the Open LCP network tree. We're all tied in. That's it. You're there. Congratulations.